well, to tell you the truth, we all played in that, the bottom back lane, that's called. Mm -hmm. And we all played in there because you could dance there. If you you really? know, you used to sing along and dance there and play all kinds of games in that back lane. Right. So there would always And be... it was blocked off at the end, like, you, you know, there was no cars could get in off that uh, lovely mm -hmm. hill road. So there was always children right the way along that railway line, the, the back lane, Playing, right, right yeah. the way along to sort of, you know, Trafalgar Street and yes. right the way along. Mm. Right. So there would there would be children playing there. I mean, there isn't now. We, we've been there down a few times and it's pretty much... Deserted. Well, the children don't play out now. No. no. Mm -hmm. TV and computers, and that's all they do. It's you know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it sounds feasible that he hit, would hit it over the head with a shovel. But I can't understand how it was never talked about in my family's oh. house. Mm. I'm sure it wasn't. And what about the police officer that Robert Hall claimed witnessed the creature, Sergeant Brooks? After quite a bit of research, I was able to find that there was indeed a police officer named Brooks who lived in the area in 1940. This 1927 photograph of Gateshead Police Force includes PC 49, William Brooks. I managed to trace his son, Vernon Brooks, and granddaughter, Verna. We arranged an interview to find out whether they knew anything about the creature. Explain to me, how old were, were you, um, Vernon, in, in 1940, and where did you live? Oh, no, 1940, well, how old would I be? 13, 14. Wasn't it me about 14, I think? 13, 14? Uh, 13, 14. Uh, 13, 14. Uh, and I was way down in Yorkshire. Right, so you were evacuated yeah. in 1940. You, you weren't here. Okay, and um, what was your grandfather's occupation? Well, uh, he was a police officer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what was his full name? William Archibald Brooks. Okay. Archibald, not Archibald. Archibald, there was no I in it. And he was very insistent on that. Right. And what rank was he in 1940? 1940, he would have been an acting sergeant. Okay. So people probably would have referred to him as Sergeant Brooks. Sergeant Brooks, yes. Okay. And um, can you remember where, where your house was, where you lived, or where, where your yes, father I lived? Yes, Yes. 29 Little Terrace. Okay. And the house had the name above the door. Right. Langston House. And that's a stone's throw from Salt Hill Road, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. And can you remember where his beat would have been in 1940? His beat would have been... Actually, actually the beat against it was divided into different areas and his beat would have covered Bencham and the teams. Okay. The district. And it would have included Salt Hill Road? Then. It would include all this area. And had the old-fashioned police mac on and he come around the corner. He said, by God, and he was crossing his cell praying. He says, I've never seen out like it. Well, I'll ask you the question directly, what I'm getting at. W was he ever known to cross himself? You know when people do this? If he, if he was to see right. something. Have you ever, did you ever see him do that? No, he never did that. No. OK. Right. And um, do you think he's the type of person who might have kept things from you or is he the sort of person who would tell you everything? What, 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 how would you describe him in terms of t letting you know what was going on? He would tell us what was going on, but if he had been sworn to secrecy or the official secrets that came into being, then it would be finished. Right. He, he wouldn't Probably tell you anything. You needed to know. <laughs> okay, and you've, you've answered this question before off camera. Did he ever speak about seeing any creature of any kind in 1940? No. No. And can you remember anyone else ever, ever speaking of that? Never. Never, OK. Something that Robert mentioned in his interview was that he had telephoned a local late-night talk show several years ago, the Alan Robson's Night Owls programme, and given his account on air. I decided to telephone the show and ask if it was true that people had in fact confirmed the story. Alan Robson did confirm that people rang in and confirmed things that Robert Hall had said. We wrote to Metro Radio to ask if there was any archive material of the callers who rang in at the time. Unfortunately, these recordings no longer exist. Alan Robson did write to us, however, and in his letter he states, I can confirm that at the time numerous callers did remember the incidents in 1940 
and reading about them in local newspapers. So there is some evidence in what is said in this letter, but it is not really enough to turn the event into the next Roswell. We needed more evidence, and the trail of finding witnesses seemed to have dried up. So I decided to focus all of the attention on the newspaper records. According to Robert Hall, a reporter from the Evening Chronicle came to his house and actually assaulted him to try to get the story. To this day, I have so far searched every edition of the Journal and Evening Chronicle from January to July 1940 and have not found any article which corroborates Robert's story. From the evidence and witnesses that I have been able to find, I do not consider this story to be fully corroborated. However, I do believe that Robert Hall is telling the truth. Any supporting evidence which comes to light in the coming months and years will be posted on the richplanet.net website. One final point. The reason why Robert Hall contacted Gary Heseltine in the first place was to complain about a report examining the origins of the phrase Little Green Men. Robert claims that this phrase originated in his street in 1940 after the events. At the time, he described the creatures to others as little grey men, but he was misheard and the phrase little green men was born and spread around the world. No, I didn't have the aliens or old Nick, I mean the devil's mob, you know what I mean? But I had people from Christian churches, you know, they've been saying, I got the children in chapel now and then I'm going this Sunday. <coughs> and the older ones in the 90s say, don't do no, don't say nothing to nobody. They knew about it, and they wanted to keep it quiet. Well, I thought the truth should come out. You know what I mean? I, but well, there you are, but... I, and if you were to encounter one again today, would you be would you be really scared, or would you...? No, I wouldn't be frightened. They're more frightened of us than we are of them. That's why they use a thing like a... It's like a... What, it's like a... Something like that. And they point it at you, and you're going docile. It's just like that. It's something like that. They point it at you, and you go docile. Well, that's what I'm going to do. You see, if anybody says they believe in little green men, they're not damn green. There wasn't one green among the lot of them. It was grey, and it took all these years. They took their mick, saying they were green. They weren't. They were grey with big eyes. Scared the hell out of us.